and we are. Yay! Woot woot! Have you, you've looked at the stream, right? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, recently? No, I'm doing it right now. Okay. Uh, so, one of my friends runs a game on Saturday for charity. Mm -hmm. So, I am thinking about doing ours the same. Uh, different okay. charity. But... Okay. So, I've, I've added content and tried to make it look as pretty as possible. Because I'm... I'm it up around now. Because I'm anal. <laughs> I feel that, I feel that. She can't type. I mean, she can't type at all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Several spelling fails. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and dive right in. And I'm oh, sure we'll get people eventually. Or probably just the folks playing right now. It's okay. Let me bring up my OneNote. <clears throat> Alright, so you've already named your character. Yeah. Uh, Re, I am pronouncing that correctly? Yes, you are. Okay. What is uh, Re's race? Um, She's an elf. Full-on elf? Yes. Alright. Uh, what's sub? Um... Just the regular one. <laughs> Wood elf, high elf. Um. Uh, high elf. Okay. So yeah. she's a hoity-toity elf. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what class? Uh, monk. Okay. I just want to make sure you were gonna go yeah. with the um. The thing you gave me. Yes. Uh, what is her general alignment? Uh, chaotic good. Probably. Chaotic good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, language will come to later. <clears throat> For your stats, I have two choices. You mm. can roll uh, 2d6 plus 6 and put them in order. So start with strength, dexterity, con, int, wisdom, charisma. And you can switch two around. Or you can roll a pool of 20 d6 and use all the dice, however you see fit, nothing starting over 18 prior to your racial mods. Um, so we're going to go with the first one. Okay. Probably, because math is not, uh... <laughs> you don't, you don't want to do, you don't want to do an hour of math for the no, stream? No, no. <laughs> The most entertaining content. This is this is gonna be interesting because both the female players have decided to do the two d six, and both the male players did the pool. Hmm. Yes, and Alicia says good choice. <laughs> she's the uh, she's playing Claudia. So go ahead and do your rolls and roll twenty. Okay. Um. You're familiar with Roll20, correct? Uh, vaguely, yeah. I've... Vaguely? <clears throat> yeah. So it's going to be the forward slash R space mm -hmm. 2D6 plus 6. Alright, so that's your strength. And you can hit the up button to get that same roll back. Ooh. Dex. That's a nice dex. Yeah. Con, not bad. Intelligence. Okay. Good wisdom. Well, well hey there. <laughs> and, a, and an okay charisma. So you can switch two of those around if you want. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head what the monks really want. Uh, probably dex and I think wisdom, right? For yeah, your... which I mean... 
you've already gotten good decks and whiz, but if you want to swap around something else, you're more than welcome to. Mm. Honestly, those really aren't bad rolls. No, it's really good. Uh, I'm, not, so, I'm not mad about that at all. So for the chat, uh, for the, <clears throat> not the chat, but the stream, since I'm not streaming what's being rolled, she got an 11 strength, 16 dex, 13 con, 12 intelligence, 16 wisdom, and 10 charisma. I honestly don't think I'm going to switch anything around. I mean, it's it looks great to me. Cool. And then uh, your racial mods will get added after you put all those in. Alrighty. Which, a high elf adds things to things that I don't remember. I think I, I have my PHB right here. I can look. I don't have this book memorized. It's page uh, high elf. So as an elf, you get a plus two to dex, and then a high elf adds a plus one to intelligence. Cool, cool. So I'm gonna just do that. Yeah, Alicia, I'm, I, there's no way I can memorize this book. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> You're um, lucky I remember your name. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Relatable. So bad with names. Um, I lost myself. Okay. Oh, wait, I get a plus one to intelligence for being a high elf. So that yes. would be... 13, not 12. And then Charisma is still 10. Cool. Yep. Alrighty. Damn, that has some good decks. <laughs> <laughs> so after after everything's said and done, 11 strength, 18 decks, 13 constitution. Oh, you can see it on the stream because the character sheet's up there. I don't know why I'm telling you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, you can go ahead and fill out everything else that you need to fill out on the character sheet real quick while I pull up some information for your for your for your secretive little role that I'm going to have you do. Okay, dokie. So, put in the race and all that fun stuff. Yes. So you said generally chaotic good. All right. Yeah. All righty. Um, any god in particular that you would follow from this campaign setting? Um, I can't. The, um, the arts one. What was her name? I looked at the, hang on. I that is, uh, Ufina. Yes. Okay. That one. Okay, how do I add class and level? I'm sorry, I'm like... I hit the little add button. Yeah. The very tiny add button. And then do I just... what? Right above class and level. Yeah, I see it, I'm just like... challenged. <laughs> there we go, I found it, I found it, we're good. Okay. I got it. <laughs> there we go. Roll me a D8, would you please? Uh, 
Ah. <laughs> How do? Uh, it's slash first. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Oh. Okie dokie. <laughs> Your fe uh your character is female, correct? Yes. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um you you've seen the others dreams. So you know that I'm looking for events that happened in your character's life. Mhm. Mm that uh could affect how your character develops up until the point of the start of the campaign. But first, let's go, uh, let's do a quick, quick, brief background. Uh, tell me about Ree. Um, okay. She was dropped off at the temple to Ufina when she was, like, I don't know how old she would have been in elf years in relation to human years. Um, would you say she was a was a, a toddler, adolescent? She was probably a toddler. So she was probably anywhere from f five to ten. Okay. I mean, but honestly, um, how how they develop? I I would I would imagine that they would develop like a human up until um, up until their body is developed. It's just yeah. that it maybe takes their mind longer to develop. Because they're uh, uh, high elves are. Uh, what is the age of adulthood for an elf? I was 25 for a half elf. And that's just when they when they reach age of majority for their race. Mm -hmm. Kind of like how we as a as humans in today's day and age say 18. Yeah. Even though you're still developing. Well until you're what 20s. Five mm -hmm. is when the brain finally decides, hey, I'm done. Uh, do -do -ba -do -ba -do. Where is... Where do... Uh, okay, adulthood around 100. Okay. Yeah, we'll say it was like... Yeah, toddler age. Anywhere from from three to, to five. So, yeah, she... Um was kind of just plopped on the steps of the temple. And, um... What city were you in? Um... Kind of, like... Would there be, like, um... Well, not necessarily a city, but, like, a smaller town. Mm-hmm. Sure. I don't know. <laughs> um, we, can, we can pick you a smaller town. Yeah. What are some, like, smaller elf-related... I have a list of small towns. Let me bring up my list of small towns. I have a ginormous list of town names that can be used... Alrighty. What letter do you want to start with? Um, H. What is the people in H's? Seriously. <laughs> hey, guess what? I don't have on my list because somebody picked the only H. Okay, well, in that case, <laughs> M. <coughs> Funny those. Uh, I take that back. There's only one of those. How? Oh, two of them. Uh, three of them. They're all next to each other. So we've got uh, yeah, Megase, Metharta, and Myonarta. I like the sound of Megase. Okay. It is spelled. There you go. Thank you. 
That's as in as a toddler in the town of Boom. Um where would you say on the map this town is? Um next to a like a body of water. Okay, there are just those <clears throat> two very large bodies of water. Yes. Uh do you want it to be an yeah. island town or on the land bridge between or just somewhere near the body of water? Uh land bridge. Land bridge. Okay. Uh we'll we'll stick you slap dab in the middle of the land bridge then. Cool. We'll shift ping you there. Alright. And I will label that. Uh, Ariel 20 yellow. Alright. There you go. All righty. That is where your character is from. All right. What else is there to know about Ree? Um, she's. I don't know how to phrase. I don't know words. Um. <laughs> words are hard. <laughs> I, I agree with you there. She's kind of um, because she like grew up in a temple. She's not exactly family oriented, so she doesn't take relationships the same way as. Okay. Um. Like someone who grew up in a standard family setting would. It's more of um, these people are here to use me for my abilities, and I'm here to use them for their abilities. And we're here to work together. Okay. As a community, as opposed to like you should do this because I'm related to you type thing. Yeah. So you're doing it out of choice and necessity, not because you feel an obligation. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else? Um... No, I mean, she's... Like, she grew up in the temple and... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get into your uh, life events. Okay. So event number one would have happened at which age? Um, Roughly? I would say probably like 45. Okay. And was it uh, in Magasi or the temple or anything specific? It was in the temple. Okay. And what happened with this event? Um, she got into a fight, uh, because people come to the temple to train, mm -hmm. and she was kind of, like, the only one that actually, like, lived there, other than the actual monks who, uh, like, took care of the temple. Okay. And so she was always seen as kind of, like, an unusual outsider to the people who would come to the temple. And they seemed to have kind of a problem with that. And one day they just happened... Um, she got irritated because... Someone might have, like, said something about her family before she joined the temple. And she kind of lost control over... Her chill. <laughs> okay. Uh, who did you get into a fight with? Um. Or did you never catch their name? No, um, her name was Emily. Uh, human? Elf? 
human. Okay. Uh, how were you affected by this incident? Um, very ashamed. Okay. Of, of, Rhi was ashamed of her actions, or of Rhi was ashamed the... of herself. Okay. Um, for not being able to, I guess, control herself. But, God, group in the end, it was... issues. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But in the end, uh, what? But in the end, she was just like, well, I mean... She was trying to justify her actions as a little kid. I guess. Well, mentally a little kid, kind of. Yeah. As an adolescent. Yeah. Because she feels like she kind of had a right to, but at the same time, not really. Okay. Okay. Uh, and, <clears throat> uh, rival or contact gained, I'm assuming you gained Emily as a rival. Yeah. Okay, how old did Emily appear? Uh, Emily was probably 17 or so. Okay. And she was there training to be a monk, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. So. <sighs> Give me a second, because i got to think of how to word this. Yeah, that's a tough one. Okay. Um... Prior to the event happening, the night before, um, you have a restless night. Um, you have a dream, and in the dream you are surrounded by a pale gray nothing. Um... It's a little disconcerting. Um, but you don't necessarily feel afraid. Uh, you feel a warmth, thing, warmth wash over you in the stream. It's, it's odd. And far off in the distance. And you can't really tell distance too well. Uh, because there's no horizon. There's no land. There's no sky. Uh, there are two silhouetted figures. Um, and you think they're in the distance, but for all you know, they could just be two very small individuals right in front of your face, and you, you can't tell. Yeah. Because it's very hard to tell distance. Um, and that is the extent of the dream. Would re talk to anybody about this dream? Um, yeah, she would probably go talk to the head of the temple about it. Okay. And uh, what is the name of the, the person who is head of the temple? Uh, Oloris. Oh, you're going to spell that one for me. O-L-O-R-I-S. O-L-O-R-I-S? Yeah. Okay. And is Oloris human, elf? Um. Halfling, gnome, orc, dwarf. Half orc. Half, Half orc. orc. Okay. Wow, learn to spell, Tanya. And what do you tell Oloris? Um, probably just... I had this really weird dream last night, and I want to know if it's 
if you have any idea if it might have been something bigger, more important, or if it was just a dream. Uh, Aloris takes a moment to think. Uh, oh, by the way, is Aloris male or female? Male. Okay. Takes a moment to think. 